So we've got another lightsaber duel battle between two Jedi. Both characters are 49 points each. Maris Brood and Anakin Skywalker, champion of Nelvan. Anakin starts off with 120 hit points, whereas Maris starts off with 110. Both characters have 19 defense. She has a lower attack of 9, um, and he has a higher attack of 12. Both characters have 20, will do 20 damage. Maris has a double attack with a twin attack as well, so it could potentially attack up to four times against Anakin in this one. Whereas Anakin does only have a twin attack. But whenever he is hit with a melee attack, on a save of 11, he can make an immediate attack back against Maris without using any force points or anything like that, just a save of 11 or more. Both characters start off with two force points at the beginning of the game, and they both have a force renewal of one. So every time they activate, they'll gain that extra point. Maris has force push two, so does 20 damage and pushes the target back two squares. She also has lightsaber assault as well, so for one force point she can attack twice, effectively still doing four attacks. Anakin's got force grip, which does 10 damage. And he also has lightsaber block as well, so he's able to block melee attacks. Um, we are going to use the blue dice for Anakin and green for Maris. Um, let's move them back. Six. And do initiative for the first phase. Anakin wins on a 17. He is going to go straight in. Straight in with a twin attack. He's got 12 as his attack, so he only needs 7s against her. 19 and 17, doing 40 damage in total, and saving those force points, well, the one force point that he can spend, that's the extra one he gains from activating. Now Maris activates herself as well, now she's got four attacks to come. She has an attack of nine, so she needs tens against Anakin. I'm going to re-roll that one because it didn't roll properly, it didn't land properly. So she gets an 11. Um, now he is going to block the attack, which he successfully does. And then on an 11 plus he's allowed to attack her back, which he does. Again needing 7s, so he does another 20 damage to her which takes the damage to 60. So he's spent his force point for um, the turn. Remember, she's still got another three attacks to come. So the second, she gets an 11, which is successful. It does 20 damage because he cannot block that one, but on an 11 plus, so he gets a 16 and can attack back, needing 7s, which he does get. So that's another 20 damage against her. Now her third attack of the 4, 12, which is successful, 
So another 20 damage to Anakin. But can he attack back? 11 again. So he has to roll a 7. Gets a 3. Fails on that occasion. Her fourth and final attack of the phase. 15, which is successful. Pushes his damage to 60. But he gets to attack back on an 11 plus and gets a 6. So she's done 60 damage to him in this phase and he has done 80. Initiative roll for the next phase. 16 to Anakin and 11 to um, Maris She. He will obviously attack first. So he gets his force point for activating and he's got a twin attack. Um, he only needs, well let's see, seven. Rolls a six. He is going to spend one force point to re roll. Gets a 12, pushing the damage to 100. Now he's got his second attack. Six. Now he cannot spend another force point to renew that one because he's already spent one in his turn. So he failed on that one, leaving her with 10 hit points remaining. She will do her double twin attack against him, so four consecutive attacks. Remember, she needs tens against him. So the first one hits, but he can spend now that one force point in her turn to block and fails. So that is 20 damage onto Anakin. He'll do his 11 plus roll, which he gets, and on a 7 the game is over and she is defeated. 20. Gets a 20 at the end there, which defeats Maris. 40 damage at the end there. So those attack backs really were useful and made up for the fact that Anakin only had two attacks per turn um, to Maris's four attacks. But the, um, the roles that he was able to do definitely leveled out the game and um, he was able to do that extra damage which eventually defeated her.